Alright guys, welcome back to Skyrim, and we are finally going to be stepping foot inside the Museum of the Cult of the Mythic Dawn. This guy is apparently one of the um, descendants of one of the main guys, or at least one of the people in the Mythic Dawn cult. Uh, but his descendants were obviously disgraced because they kind of tried to destroy Tamriel for their own gain to make their own private paradise and all that, so... Yeah, this person has warned us of even going inside, but of course we're going to take a look inside because... And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. You don't sound evil or anything. Um, I am looking for a Daedra Heart. But before that, what was our argument about? Never mind that. Medina is a good woman, but I have my own reasons for opening this museum, and I'm not changing my mind. I have a collection of artifacts from the group that toppled an empire. Their importance to history cannot be forgotten. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. A job, you say? Okay, sounds good. Let's talk inside. Silas Vesuvius. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts, where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. Ah, yes. That scabbard. Notice the insignia? An Oblivion Gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon, the patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn. Cannot open this, though, unfortunately. We can open this up. These are just the Mythic Dawn items. Um, robes, that is, and such. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. Right, that's the reason why all of them were doing that, was to get to a paradise. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise, where all his followers would live forever. Did not actually succeed, though, if I remember correctly, because you stop him. Did you have any questions about the museum, or would you rather talk business? So, what is this cult, exactly? They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The mythic dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult, I've gathered in my museum. And who is Merun's Dagon exactly? Ah, an excellent question. Merun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Dagon's mythic Dawn cult killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. I'm aware of that much. So why open the museum exactly? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realize that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. That sounds like you just want to be a power tripping or something. I don't know. It just seems weird. Shouldn't you be ashamed of it? Anyway, what's this job you want done? A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. 
That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group. And they're right here, in Skyrim. I actually already have one of these shards. You want me to find the fragments? At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Okay, sure, why not? Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. I have the blade shards of Maroon's razor. Look at them. The legendary sharpness of a Daedric weapon. Marvelous. And here's your payment for the shards. We just need the hilt and the pommel now. Can you tell me more about the razor? The razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. Having a Daedric artifact like that from a Daedric god seems like a bit much honestly don't think you really should have it but okay good luck finding the fragments hmm uh, until next time i think we'll be keeping this for ourselves but you know hey whatever i'm here to lend my magic to the people of dawnstar okay you were not very happy now, with us me. for talking to that guy but all right so then, pieces of the past. We've already gotten one. And these are going to be... I have to meet with whoever took this horn as well. Where was this at? All the way down here in Riverwood. Okay. We're not doing that right away. I have to just, like, read the thing for this? Is that, that the case? Okay, let's actually read the notes then. None of these are the note that I need. Um, God, I have way too many books in my inventory right now. Um... Trying to search by his name or any any way I can search here. They all look the same. I can't tell which one's which. You can learn some of these spells, huh? I got Mark and Recall now, so I can teleport back here. That'll be nice. Oh, is this it? The Keepers of the Razor? This is it. Okay. Jorgen of Morthal, 8th generation of Clan Axebearer to bear the hilt of Maroon's Razor, son of Halnir, son of Hroy, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Gunzo, leader of the Cracked Tusk Bandits. Right, that's where I got that one already. Draskua, leader of the Forsworn of Dead Crone Rock, nestled in the westernmost mountains of the Reach. Westernmost mountains of the Reach. Maybe we can go for that one first. No, not that. Westernmost Mountains of the Reach. One's in Morthal. Okay, yeah, Dead Crone Rock is, is, is where one is at. And there's one over in, in uh, Morthal, he said. Okay, where Morthal's closer by, right? 
Morthal, where are you at? It does put a look. It does puts a thing on the map at least. So there's that. Morthal is yeah, right over here. Okay, well, um, I have something to do over in Dim Hollow Crypt as well. I guess I could ride over to here on the way and check it out and then do Morthal. See if we can get the the one from that, that guy over there. I'm not sure why his horse keeps following me. I have not stolen that horse. We are going to the north, yes? I could just take a carriage there, but I, I think it's better to explore along the way and see what we find over here along the way, you know? Oh, I could use... Well, I guess I can always use a carriage to come back as well. Probably just do that. Well, I kind of want to... Well, can I, can I even cast it? What is this cost to cast? Um, yeah, guys, I mean, I, I can't exactly just cast that. It's not like I can just, I can just become a master conjurer and do that. So yeah, we're not doing that anytime soon, I guess. Hello? Hunters? Random hunters? Um, oh, it's over this way tomorrow. Okay. I guess those are random hunters. They seem okay. They weren't attacking me, so it's fine. We may let them live. The same cannot be said for you, Ice Wolf. So, Ilya, I'm curious. What can I do for you? I want to train you with a spell. Let's see here. Ah, so I want... I can put a spell in my right hand and then teach it to her. Okay. Yeah. Let's give her a really powerful destruction spell then. That makes sense, right? Let's go for, like, the most powerful thing we have. What does this do? Lightning Cloak. Eh, maybe not, but, um... I could give her Fireball. That'd be kind of cool. Lightning Shackle, what's this do? Deals 40 points of shock damage to health and half to magicka. Hits multiple targets. Okay. I don't know if that's good, though. It might have friendly fire. Snow... She might already have snow spume. I think that's what she's using. Hmm. This might be, like, all... That might be the best she's can use, really. Let me give her, um... Let me give her a fireball though, sure. You know if I can be of service. Tactics. I want to combat teach you a spell. Uh hold on. This, right? No, that's not it. Exit. Go back. Here we go. Teach you a spell. 
I'm gonna spell my right hand. Of course. Okay, so now she can just cast Fireball. Cool. Wait. You're gonna use Elemental Fury too? What are you do? What are you doing to that wolf? Why are you teabagging it? She's she's like wiping her ass on that wolf. It was kind of funny. I guess I had Elemental Fury on as well, so that she. Okay, well, whatever. I guess if she ends up casting that, it's going to be kind of funny. Bit of a bugbear. Weapon? Oh, I don't have a weapon on because I unequipped it. Right. Uh, Dawnbreaker? Bro, get wrecked. This is a bit awkward. Got him. I gotta get off the horse, I think. Can I get up here? Ugh, come on. We can do it. Got it. Rest in peace, dude. Uh-oh. Freezing up. There we go. I gotta unload stuff pretty soon because I got too much crap on me. Uh, this is a heavy one or else I would use this. Um, did I get rid of my other one? I think I did. Whatever. We'll just one-hand it, I guess, for now. Fort Fellhammer Garrison. Do I have another one-hander I could use? Anything decent? That's a two-hander, I'm pretty sure. That's the best I have. I got this thing. Absorb health. It's kind of nice. No way, I want to, I want to, hold on, I want to dual wield this, I want to do this, and then I want to do that. There we go. Wait, why did that not work? Dawnbreaker. There. There we go. You got wrecked, bro. The Black Arrow. Not gonna read it right now. Maybe later. I've got like the most pure weapon in my right hand and the most like evil black weapon in my left hand. Gajak's Steel Maze. It's, it's named. Huh. Wonder who Jack is. I tell you, this province is losing its grip. The bandits become more brazen every day. That's all it's in here. We gotta go other door. Wanna go to a different place, the other area? I guess so. Not a bad spot, though. We got a smelter here. It was fairly easy to take these guys out, too. Should probably... cast my spills, huh? Really? Why can't I cast it? Uh, why is my magicka lowered? 
I don't see any negative effects here. Do I have some kind of heavy armor on an accident? This all looks correct. Because I'm dual wielding, I guess. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, that's real dumb. That's stupid. It's annoying. It's my opinion on that. Okay, we're good. I am a daughter of. We know your daughter of Skyrim. There we go. Skyrim. Bye bye. Just iron ore, huh? You ready to die today, huh? Think you can take me? You can't win this. Careful. Don't get hit by me. I hear sparkly sound. Is that you? Or is that Nernroot? Sounds like Nernroot. Ah! Careful, guys. Or if it was Dark Souls, it'd sound like um, one of those crystal lizards, you know? So where'd that hole go to? Is that just a lower level we were at before? Can I not jump through here? Guess not. All right. On our way. That was a quick one. Yeah, that's all it's here. Okay. Very quick little fort. Onward we shall go. Nice to warm up in there, I guess, real quick, you know? Dusk Glow Crevice. Another another random uh, place we can go into. Ooh, Fulmer, huh? Yeah, it looks like Fulmer infested. Well, in that case, you know what we're doing? Did it resist poison? The boss is going to cut those creepy cave people to pieces. Is someone there? Time to end this little game. Maybe not, Farmer. Mindless Cretans didn't stand a chance. Never mind, not Falmer. Wind jo oh hello. Oh, 
Are you are you okay? Oh, you you just you just you're just uh. Whoops. Okay. Whatever. I wanted to make sure I didn't kill Illy on accident, you know, because that's a real danger with me at this point. The range on this thing is horrendous. It's the main issue I'm having right now. The range is just so terrible on this thing. you got to be right up next to him. companions are at. I'm sure they'll be fine. Invisibility. Too bad I can't combine these with each other. I'm back here. Well, that's nice. Well done. Not a bad spot if you're a foamer, you know? They got their own lighting here. Got permanent lighting. Got what seems like fresh water. It's coming from somewhere and leaving to somewhere, so it's, you know, kind of fresh. Dude, she just one-shot him. She's just... <laughs> Uthgert, you're, you're a beast. All my companions are beasts at this point, though. I mean, they're all pretty damn strong. Okay, so where are we going here? We've already been around here like three times. There's nowhere else to go, I think. We just go back. Look at that foot texture. Dirty, dirty foamer feet. They're barefoot. You got those giant nails, too. Ew. When I was a boy. I've never understood the appeal of, like, super long nails. So I thought maybe we'd come up under or whatever, but I don't know how we get over to this side. Unless it's like over... No? Well... I don't know. Probably not that way. Can I use the whirlwind sprint to get across? Does that work? Is that a thing? It's Z, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Z. Oh crap, I missed my jump. You didn't see that. Nobody saw that. Alright, let's try this again. Let's, let's do it from here. Let's, like, let's try like right here. It's a, it's a pretty long thing, so... Oh, you... You can't use it once you're airborne. I see. You gotta be on the ground, I think. Will it not let you, like, cross distances using it? I guess that would be kind of game-breaking, wouldn't it? Oh no, you totally can. Ne never mind, you, you absolutely can. Okay, cool. Neato, I got across. Can I not open this though? Oh man. looking very closely to see if I can find a ring or anything around here. Like a, an iron ring I can pull to make this open. 
Uh, it's possible there's a way in here, and this is the exit as well. That's kind of what it seems like it is. It's like an exit you come out at, and then drop down, and you're done. Which leads me to believe that my original assumption that there's probably a way through here that goes up and around through was correct. I just missed the, where we're supposed to go. That would seem to make the most sense. So we came in over here. This is a dead end, so we can't really go anywhere over here. At least, not that I can tell. Ah, here we go. I didn't even see this over here. Fair enough. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna see if I could get this restoration spell. S or not restoration, um... This armor spell... Not spell, this perk. Armor perk. I can't do this right now though, so I'm going to assume I probably have to use this to unlock it, which is unfortunate that I have to spend two points, I, I guess. I don't even know if that's the case though. I can't even test it right now because I have to level up before I can have two points to check it. So, I guess we're waiting on that, and I want to waste the points now and find out later on that uh, it was a waste, you know? That was close. Get ready. Trouble ahead. Evasion skill saved my ass there. I don't want to hit my own guys, so I'm being careful. I don't think I would one-shot them, but if they're, like, missing any health, I probably could, like, maybe one or two-shot them, and... That'd be real bad, so... Okay, here's the exit, but we can't go out this way right now either, unless I'm missing a ring or a button we can push or pull, whatever. There's more to explore up here, though, so probably it's not the way we're supposed to go. Came from over here. Okay, check over here then, I guess. Fortify enchanting, that's pretty rare. I'm gonna make sure I take that. Minor alchemy. Some random steel stuff. Nothing particularly crazy here. Moth in the jar. I've not seen that before, so I'm going to take it. Maybe it's just for decoration, but... It's interesting that we can just take that. A dedication or something. But 
bunch of stuff. Okay. Pretty pretty old stuff, but yeah. Imbued Hagrid. Even I guess we can. It's worth quite a bit. I guess we can uh, destroy that for like magical knowledge. Ebony stuff. Ebony arrow. Okay. But I'm still not sure how we get out of here. Alright, if I was looking right at this thing, I apologize. I, I just, I cannot seem to find it, guys. I'm just, maybe I'm just being blind and dumb, but I'm just going to go back the regular way, I suppose. Not the regular way, but, you know, the other way. I'm sure there's a way to open that, but I just, for the life of me, I couldn't see it. Maybe I'm just being stupid, but wasn't worth it to look it up for me. I just decided to go around because that was quicker. I knew exactly where I was. It wasn't like we were missing anything, you know? We don't get experience for pulling that chain or anything, you know? Not a big deal. Cool dungeon, though. Alright, and that was uh, Dusklow Crevice. Not where I'm trying to go to. Dim Hollow Crypt is where I'm trying to go to. We're just kind of discovering stuff along the way. Just seeing what we can see along the way. Finding stuff and clearing it, doing stuff and things. That is a dead mammoth, it looks like. What is this? back agreed I think we are done here aside from being you know doing the stuff inside as well pretty big fort type area just some random bandits the Stumbling Saber Cat. Bandit Inn? Huh? What was that? <laughs> You're ready to die today! Victor, well. for All now. Things considered. Good thing that was later on in the video. YouTube does not take kindly to beheadings, even uh, in video games. But they're too cool. Guys, they're too cool to turn off. Oh, you're already dead, huh? This was the uh, the proprietor of this place before the bands took over. I've seen better workmanship from Nord children only ten winters old. Oh, calm down, bro. I don't think... Nord children that are 10 years old are building inns. Okay, back out. That is the, sa the drunken saber cat. Could probably sleep here for the night. It's getting kind of late. Don't know why I bother. It's because they might have like a key or something on them, you know? An interesting item like a key. Commander's quarters, okay. 
Gotta be some good stuff in here, right? Alchemy bench. Is someone there? Whoa! Uh, we make quite a team, eh? There is indeed a nice bed here. Hmm, 50% resist potions is not bad. I'll take those. Decent fortify conjuration I can use for power leveling, maybe. Skuma is always welcome, because we can't make that ourselves, so... We got Alchemy Lab, and we have a forge outside. This is interesting. Ah! Troop encampments? I can just hit E on these and it'll mark them on my map. So I know where they all are at. Various forts and such here too. That's pretty interesting. Some of them have stuff marked and some do not. Did I get all of them? Just spamming E as hard as I can. I think I think we're good. Go to my map now. Whoops. Not local. Should have a whole bunch of those locations marked my map now. That's kind of nice. Can go check those out sometime in the future. That goes back down in further. Okay, so we have an alchemy bench in a bed here. Let's see what we find further down. Skeevers, apparently. What was that? Thought I heard something. Please don't kill me! Hey, watch it! I like that they immediately just like run now. They're just like, oh, oh fuck, we we fucked up. Like we we're, we're dead. Look at all this cheese. Man, we found the right place. Is this, is this the shitter room? Nice. They cast uh, mage armor on me. Nice. Nice swing, dude. Too bad you missed. Get them rats. Why do they have so many rats? Just rats everywhere. Well done indeed, Deathwish. So many rats. Hmm. You know. Whatever, guys. If you like eating rats, then I, I guess go for it. Hey, we even got a training thing here. Got our own stable here. Um. Yeah, we got a forge over here. A forge? A, a armor workbench? A weapons workbench? Wood pile? 
Wasn't there a wood pile I can use to chop from as well to uh, get infinite wood as well in there? So is that everything? Have I finally found a fort that's not like a, an official home that has all the things that I want? Does this have a, um, a smelter anywhere? There's no smelter here. You know, Crack Tusk Keep has all this too, but just no smelter, which is the one thing I'm really missing in a uh, proper, a proper home with all the amenities. But yeah, I don't see a smelter here. I doubt we'll find one in the prison, but I guess we can check. I'm gonna have more rats in here. There's someone there. Now ain't found. Where are you? Well, turn away. Hi, Elf, huh? Over here. Well, that's taken care of. Ilya's taking care of business down there. Another, um... Another alchemy station here. Alright. What do we have downstairs? Lots more rats. Bunch of straw here. That's nice. Make a bunch of tinder. This goes back outside. And I think that's it for for this area. Yeah, so no smelter. Not quite a perfect starter base. I don't know, we can probably keep on going. It's not that late yet. Can make it over to Dim Hollow Crypt, maybe. If we're quick. Can I go the right way? There we go. Can I go this way? I think we can. Looked rather mountainous. I wasn't sure I could make it across. I <coughs> think we're good, though. Well, maybe not. Let's go around then, I guess. Gonna be a long ways around. Careful. Got running a bit too fast there. Oh, there's a house here, too. What's this place? Oh. Hall of the Vigilant. This, uh, Stendar's place? Vigilant of Stendar, yeah. What happened here? I mean, they were killed, obviously. Book of Rest and Endings. Hmm, Vigilant gear. Can RP as a Vigilant of Stendar? Deathhound? This was... Vampire's work, yeah. Ooh, fortify smithing, nice. Came here to attack the uh, vigilance, I suppose. Oh, what happened?
I forgot we can double up on the healing poultice as well. Should be using those too. I guess I haven't gotten that many recently. That's real unfortunate for these guys. They seem okay, the Vigilant Ascendars do. They seem like they're alright. Not much left here. Pretty cool you can come across that, though, and see the work of the vampires firsthand. I suppose that means there's probably a... Probably a coven of vampire... Not a coven. There's like a vampire... Den? What's the word for a vampire hideout? It's a group of vampires nearby, most likely, if they've uh, taken out the Vigilance of Sendar. Maybe the Vigilance were looking for them, too. Maybe they found them and had planned on striking them as well. well who knows? Maybe we'll find uh, the vampire lair. That's the word, lair. Vampires would have a lair. I would think, anyway. Mammoth stuff? Yeah, giants and mammoths. Okay, well, maybe we'll find that uh, next time, guys. I'm going to leave it off for here. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.